everyone i'm mandeep kumar in today's topic we are going to see scan line algorithm in computer graphics and animation okay so it is a method of hidden surface removal okay so scan line is a algorithm under the hidden surface remover so what exactly we are doing going to do with it we, with the help of scan line algorithm we are going to identify the hidden surface or we are going to identify which surface is visible suppose this is my visible surface so we are going to identify which surface is visible to me okay so uh, in this method we will use scan line technique okay let's continue so in hrs algorithm so this one is the other type of algorithm that is scan line algorithm so what is this scan line algorithm as you see this figure in this figure what you can see there are number of in scan line method what will happen we are having different different polygons okay one after another polygons are there so we have to identify which surface which which is our visible surface suppose this is like this okay so what happen half of my part, this part is fully visible and here from here this part is partially visible okay so this is what these are the visible surface this is also will be visible surface this is also will be visible surface so scan line means what we are going to traverse through line okay horizontally on the screen and we are going to identify which surface is visible okay so in this case what will happen while traversing suppose this is what we in yellow color we are having uh, one image polygon in pink another polygon in green one more polygon is there okay so what exactly we are going to do my scan line is there this scan line is going to start scanning from this position and we are moving from further to this direction moving from one direction to another direction we have to add encounter with different different edges okay for the polygon one suppose this is polygon one polygon two and polygon three so we have to encounter with the edges of polygon one polygon two and polygon three okay so what exactly we have to maintain we have to build table for edges okay so we have to make one edge table okay now while traversing when we will come to know this is what if my scan line is moving from this direction to this direction my scan line is counter with this point and we are going to move further so how it will come to know whether this point is visible or not okay so for that we are going to maintain one table that table name is called active edge table okay so we are going to maintain an active edge table okay so what is mean by active edge table it will contain the records of the active edges okay so suppose this is one edge a or this one is b so this is one edge now a to b my scan line is moving from this direction to forward it will come to know that this edge is active from where it is active it's going to display all the pixels okay now again with the same color okay so what is the previous pixel color it is going to display with the same pixel color at the same time when it is encountering with this pixel it is going to see there are two edges one is here and one is back side of this so it's going to check which edge is active so for that we are again going to see depth so what is the depth it will find the depth is uh, this edge the edge behind this surface the edge behind this surface is more so what we'll do the edge behind edge which is having less distance we are going to take make it as a 
active is so we are going to uh, maintain that record in the aet table that is active age table and in active age table we'll maintain the record like ab is my active age next age suppose i will take this as d and e so next age is d and e so i am going to check d is also an active age so what exactly we are doing we are going to scan line by line after seeing what are the edges and then we are going to maintain one record with pixel on the line on uh, pixel on this scan line is active okay on this surface or which and which surf, uh, pixel is uh, is on this line but it is not active okay so in this way we are going to display images so like you can see here we are moving like this my scan line is moving okay and what is doing is going to check okay this is what one my edge is there so it is going to draw with pink color from here this edge is depth of this edge from here to here is more okay and depth from this uh, edge is less so what i am going to do i am going to display with this okay so this is my active edge for this portion this many portion my edge is not active from here to here this portion is active so i am going to display uh, my scan line is going to print with the pink color so this will is a pink pink color again here also one scenario where we are going to get overlap now in this overlap we will see that distance of green color is less from this okay from the scan line if you are seeing the origin from the origin it is less and the pink color line is more the edge it is the edge so what will happen the scan line is going to print with the green color same way now this pink line is overlapping to green line and now we have to find the distance what is the distance from the origin okay so green color line is more so now we are again going to display with the pink color now this is green color okay while scanning my line is print green so in this record what exact how many tables we are going to generate are first one table table which will contain active active edge and this active edge table is made up of while comparing the depth after comparing the depth of the each uh, edges we are going to make this record uh, we have to make one polygon table where we are going to write all the polygons edges with its vertices next third one we have to keep is vertex table so these three tables we have to maintain now the simple example we'll consider that active edge table this is what active edge table that is for each scan line for each scan line what we are going to do we are going to take labels also okay so label 1 la now polygon count we are going to count the polygon number of polygon 0 scan left 0 okay now scan right a abc active active false because there is no polygon okay or default active false so these are the uh, examples so we are going to keep default values are false means we don't have anything to display same way lb level 2 means is for scan line 2 this is scan line 1 now what we are going number of polygon we are getting 1 okay now span left 0 okay means we don't have any other overlapping okay so that is 0 so we are going to keep this value scan span right if there is anything on right okay that is a active now bar is false now default active means whatever we are encountering first if it is scanning like this first poly active polygon is this one so default color what is default color of this pixel polygon is there we are going to make right default that is 
likewise for every scan line we are going to maintain this table so this is how we are going to get one record and this is uh, we are going to find the what is the visible surface okay so whatever overlapping is there it will overcome okay so while scanning when we are scanning line by line so what will happen it will count counter it will encounter with the active edges okay and the basic thing of this all algorithm is depth for we have to find the depth what is the depth of all the edges according to that we are going to get the active edge okay so hope you like this video and if you have any doubt please sir thank you everyone